Hello and welcome. I'm Erica Salee of True Synergy and we're back with you for another installment of the True Woman series. I'm so excited to be here with an awesome and dynamic woman. We are at the headquarters of New Beginnings Coaching and Mentoring Program and we are here with Ms. Catherine Trotter. Catherine, thank you so much for agreeing to talk with us this afternoon. Definitely. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Absolutely. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about uh, New Beginnings and what the program is all about. Okay. Well, our organization started in 2002 and that's the year we got incorporated and the year our mission kicked off. Our mission is to plan a new way of thinking, one of hope, possibilities, and purpose. And the foundation of our organization is mentoring and coaching. Mm, okay. And so you primarily coach and mentor young ladies or gentlemen or how, how is the program actually? So it's a co-ed program and we specifically mentor young ladies under our Daughters of Destiny mentor program. Mm -hmm. However, we do have life skill enrichment workshops which our young men are, are a part of as well. Okay, and that's it's good that you uh, bring that up because I wanted to just allow people to get a feel for some of the great things that you guys are doing in the community. I know that you have a monthly program uh, where the uh, kids come here to the center yes. and then you do other things throughout the community as well. So tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So on a monthly basis, we offer life enrichment workshops. Uh, three top ones that I would like to share today. Uh, number one is our money management workshop. We know the, the foundational principles of money management. Sometimes it's not talked about enough in the school Absolutely. system. So one of the things that we do, we've taken that large concept and we broke it down into bite-sized pieces where youth in our program are able to receive and understand the basics and the fundamentals of money management. Mm -hmm. And then we also have our charting your career path. And, okay. and that's fine, that's huge because a lot of times a young person who graduate from high school go off to a traditional four-year college and, and they're not really sure what they want to do and, and thus at the end of the four year they, they either have student loans to pay back or a degree that they're not even utilizing. Mm -hmm. So what we do through the charter of career path, it's a very interesting process whereby which we take them through a process to identify what's the best path for them in terms of their education that will match with their career. Mm -hmm. But also what we do, we look at what's going to be trending four years after they graduate. So that's a, a caveat that we've added to our chart of the red hat. That's a little different that, that I haven't seen offered elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have transitional living workshop. And that's particularly catered for young people that are aging out of the foster care system that is trying to get independent housing. And so we have a property manager that facilitates that workshop. That is awesome, and I, I love the fact that you are doing the non-traditional education. Um, you know, we know that, that math and English and social studies are core and fundamental subjects that are taught in school, but some of those life skills and some of the planning for what happens getting what you're trying to provide to them? Their walls start to come down. And what I mean by the walls is that they're starting to open up and express their feelings. And sometimes, you know, particularly if we get a, a new referral, a new young person to the program, mm -hmm. it can take three to four months just to build that relationship. And so that's really the time when we think of it as our nurturing period. Okay. Just as a, a parent and a child, it's the same way with a mentor and mentee. Mm -hmm. You have to build that relationship. But the first indicator is that they begin to express their feelings. Okay. And then I would say the second indicator is that we start actually charting goals that they can make a commitment to. Mm -hmm. And then we look at those small baby steps, actions that they have committed to after the goals have been set. Okay. And so once you start to, to get through that relationship building period, you're really charting a path where you have um, the things in place to help the children begin to grow. Exactly. And, and it's the fundamental <coughs> principles that we offer within our program from when we first started in 2002. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that we also know that we have to have a creative side to our whole program. Thus, the 
this year we started our open mic youth mixers, which allowed our youth in the program to creatively flow in poetry and singing, um, which really helped to unearth some things that was on the inside of them to be able to be a contributor to the community. Check us out on our website. I'll give our website, our email, and our contact telephone number. Uh, our website is www.nwbeginnings with an s.org. And our telephone number is 410 630 1377. And our email address is info at nwbeginnings.org. Wonderful. I'm so glad to just know that you're doing so many wonderful things. Community and it's much needed. So when a young person walks away from this program, um, having spent time with you and your mentors and being a part of the, the different programs that you offer, what is it that you hope they will gain? That they have a new beginning and, and thus the name of our organization, New Beginnings Youth Development and Coaching Program. From the infancy stage of when we established our organization, the reason why we called it in the beginning part, New Beginnings, mm -hmm. Any program our youth participates with, we want to know that they have a new fresh start in life, that whatever their past may have presented to them, mm -hmm. whatever challenges they may have faced, or even they themselves have put them in situations, that they know that they don't have to dwell in that space, that they can have a fresh start. So important, I tell you. It is just um, remarkable to know that this type of program is, is going on. And, you know, I, I know that personally I've, I've seen some of the activities
taking the time to listen in to Catherine Trotter and all the wonderful things that she's doing in the community. If you'd like to find out more about her and what she's doing, you can visit her at her website. And you can also visit us at truesynergy.org to find out what we're doing.